And you know what's great about God's word is when you're given so many examples of something, you're given clear direction on, on something to do, it makes the decision very easy. Um, when the Bible commands you to do something, you don't have to decide whether or not to do it or not. You know that's the right thing to do. And those of you that know me, I am really bad at making small decisions. You know, when it comes to what projector to buy, you know, how to set up this, how many, what chairs to buy, you know, you know what, what colour of, of a certain thing to buy. You know, I rack my brain over, you know, making the website look just nice, the way I think it should look. Because there's just too many decisions. You know, what font to use, what colours to use, what pictures to use. And it just, oh, I just, I hate making these little decisions. I'm really bad at it. But you know what's funny about the way I am? There are big decisions in life that people take a lot of time to make. And I, I just make those instantly. Who to marry? If I know that's God's will, you know, me and Elizabeth, we got married. I proposed to her in three weeks and we were married in two months. And I didn't see that as a big deal because I know what God's word says about who to marry. So I knew I was making the right decision. You know, where to live. People will think, oh, do I live here? Do I live there? When I was coming back to Australia, it was an easy decision for me where to live. I moved to Sydney because there was a good church there, a good Bible-believing, soul-winning, King James-only church. I didn't even give it a second thought. I just think, you know what? I'm going to find a way to move my family over to Sydney. So there are things like that. It's funny because when the, when the Word of God has direction, for me, that makes decision-making very simple. Um, but when the, the Word of God doesn't have direction, that's where I struggle a bit. So thank God that with something as trivial, trivial as the name of our church, there is some direction there. So I'm not thinking, oh, did I name it the right way? You know, I named it this Bible word, but now I like this Bible word. Um, and it's constantly changing. You know, thank God that's not going to happen. Now I have a convention in my own heart. Hey, that's how God calls churches. That's how I'm going to call the churches <coughs> that I... Um, and the bishop of.